Hello and welcome back. This is the Normie. Um, today I am just farming a little bit. I'm over on Emerald Lake and I'm trying to go for Sauger, but you can only fish for them at night. It's when they bite the most, I guess. And I only need one more fish. So in order to complete this lake, I need to get a unique Sauger. Unfortunately, I've not been able to yet. And I've tried many, many, many times. So I'm just farming a little bit until I can skip forward until the next day and start fishing at night. And to catch them, you normally have to be right out, right in front of these rocks here. That's where you catch them throughout this little stretch. So while I am farming and trying to catch this fish, figured I would tell a few more stories today. Um, some of them are paranormal. Some of them, actually, they're pretty much all paranormal. Who am I kidding? <laughs> I just, <laughs> I have some weird stories from like my childhood and, and friends of mine and family that, you know, I shared one of the stories in my last video of my own experience with possible aliens. And I know there's a lot of skeptics out there. So, I mean, take it for what it is. It's just a story. Um, but today I kind of wanted to talk about like dogmen and Sasquatch and weird experiences that some of us have and have experienced from time to time. So I'm going to jump right into it with a story actually about my brother and his friends. Um, long time ago, probably, I, th I think we were like 10 or 11, somewhere in there. My brother and his friends, we were over at their house. It was a three-story house and they all fell asleep upstairs in one of the boys' bedrooms. And they all had the same dream. It was a really weird dream that they were fighting a dog man, not a, not a werewolf. Um, in Michigan, we have a little different um, stories to tell. So people talk about Sasquatch a lot. People talk about uh, werewolves every once in a while. You don't really hear too much of it up here. But dogmen is, a, is quite a, a big story around here. Um, and to give a little backstory to what they look like, they look like a dog that is, stands upright on two feet and walks like a man. So kind of like Sasquatch looks like an ape man. Same thing. Oh, and I caught a sauger. Yay. So my brother and his friends, they had this dream that they were out back of the house and they had seen a dog man come onto the property. And so they all grabbed swords and they were like kung fu fighting this dog man. And, you know, they were telling they all told the same story. It was all the same dreams they had. And when they woke up, they were on the back porch and they had sticks in their hands and they were and they were all sprawled out like they had just been fighting something. They were all exhausted. Now, I don't know how much of that is true. I know that when they woke up, they all told me the same dream and they all woke up in the back. They came in from outside and I was like, why were you guys outside? And they're like, we just woke up. So I don't know if that was just, uh, you know, them trying to play a prank or something, but I always thought that was kind of curious. You know, about 20 years later, they're still telling the same story, or at least my brother is. So I don't know. You decide. Now, getting into where I'm from, Sasquatch is also a pretty prominent story. Um, especially when you start getting into the upper parts, you know, towards like Canada, you have the Upper Peninsula, and it is a really forested area. So you get a lot of stories of dogmen, Sasquatch, and even UFOs and aliens, um, which I don't think I have any of those in this one. I think it's just the Sasquatch. Um, my dad has had a few experiences, though, and he's told me about them. A lot of them, a, a couple of them were when he was really little. Um, and growing up where he was from, it was a really forested, wooded area, and there was a lot of um, swamp around. And he lived right down the road from a, a, a river. So he would constantly walk around in the woods and stuff. Well, he had a couple of stories for me. One of them does not involve a Sasquatch. One of them was just he felt like he was being watched from his kitchen and he looked out his window and there was a bear staring into his window. 
and it freaked him out and he screamed and ran away. <laughs> and I think I would have the same reaction if I had seen a bear staring at me from my window. Just two big eyes and a big old nose. And I mean, they're cute, but they're just so mean. Sometimes. Well, he had the, kind of the same experience with a Sasquatch as well. Um, he was, his bedroom was at the very far end of the house. And he said that when he was little and he would try falling asleep, he'd be up for a little while because he would hear banging on the walls. Didn't happen all the time. Happened, I would say, a good 25% of the time. And one night he was laying there trying to sleep and he heard this banging. So he got up to look out the window to see what was going on. And when he looked out the window, he saw two big eyes staring back at him. And he said it didn't look like a bear. It had a kind of like ape-like features to its face. And it was standing upright on two feet. And he swears to this day that he saw Sasquatch staring at him from his window. And he got really scared, but he didn't scream and run away. He ended up crawling back in bed, closed his eyes, and put his covers over his head. That's a, that would also freak me out. Anything staring at me in the middle of the night just freaks me out. So I had a kind of an experience like that with my dad when I was younger. We were camping and we decided to sleep in the van. He had taken the back seats out and there was a mattress in the back and I was sleeping on the mattress in the back. He was sleeping in the driver's seat and we both woke up at the same time around like two o'clock in the morning. and. We had this feeling like we were being watched, both of us. And I looked at my dad and he looked at me and he's like, are you awake? And I said, yeah. I said, why am I awake? What's going on? And he's like, I don't know. He's like, I just woke up too. So we started looking around and looking out the windows and in the back window was a deer staring at me and my dad. Face pressed right up against the window. It, it was really weird. It was weird to wake up to that knowing that you're being watched and then seeing what's watching you. <laughs> but that was, I mean, that wasn't exactly a paranormal experience. It was just one of those really weird, I would say, coincidences. We just happened to wake up right at the same time this deer was staring at us. And it took off. And um, next morning we woke up and it looked like a bear had gone through the campsite a little bit. Like our... Um, our cooler was open, food was sprawled everywhere. So I don't know, it could have been the deer, but I doubt it. Maybe the deer came through and then the bear came through afterwards. I'm not 100% sure on that. But talking about like the UP and aliens and stuff, there are a lot of stories that come from there. In fact, um, Jeff Daniels did a video, a movie back in like 1998 called Escanaba in the Moonlight. And it's about bunch of guys that go deer camping or they go to deer camp because they're going hunting and a bunch of weird stuff starts happening with like ufos and the reason that he did that video is because there's so many stories that come out of the upper peninsula and a lot of them are very very far-fetched which is why he did the video the way that he did and it is absolutely one of my favorites it's funny it's weird kind of spooky at parts um really low quality but if you can get past that, it's a really good movie. So I have a couple other stories here that come from in my, my other video that I did. Um, I told a story about aliens at my dad's friend's house. Well, a lot of weird stuff happened there other than just that, that everybody experienced. Um, one, of the, one of the weirdest things that we noticed was there was always crashing in the woods. Like you would hear branches breaking and it sounded like someone was like a giant was running through the woods. But you would go out the next day and everything would be normal. You know, there's not like a broken down tree somewhere, which it sounded like there should have been. But we always heard this crashing and it was always at night. So you'd step outside at night and you just hear branches breaking left and right. And I don't know why we ever heard that because it wasn't... I mean, there was no, a lot of times it wasn't very windy. There was really no explanation for it. And we never found an explanation for it. Aside from the crashing, we also, me and about 
five other four other people there was five people in the room noticed um actually a ghost believe it or not a friend of ours had come back and came in the house and he was standing in the doorway and there was a woman standing next to him and we all thought that she was his girlfriend she was blonde she had a white gown on kind of like a day dress that was kind of flowy and she had her arm around him and we were like hey who's your girlfriend and he was like what it's like i didn't bring a girl and next thing we know she was gone it was one of the strangest things that we had all experienced you know one minute she was there one minute she wasn't she didn't look ghostly she looked like a person so i can't really explain that too well either um i do have some more stories to tell but i'm going to keep this video short um simply because what i'm doing right now is very boring um but those are just kind of some of the stories that i wanted to share and if you guys have anything that you want to share with me like that i'd be more than happy to put it in my next video um maybe even the video after that i do plan on doing a segment where it's about comments and about stories from other people i do plan on looking up some other things on my own um and getting some highlights so having like a couple stories a week where i look it up i research it check the validity and tell you about it so if that is interesting to you please like and comment and don't forget to subscribe and until next time have a great day